What's up, you two? Still chilling out here at the truck stop. I'm here in uh, Carthage, Texas. I'm gonna walk into the Denny's in a little bit, hang out, just kill time, throw away some trash. But uh, anyway, right now we ain't got no work. finished my load this morning that was uh, being delivered to the north side of uh, Carthage, Texas. Picked up in Tatum. Staged over here at a Galaxy truck stop for about 12 hours. Got the okay. Then unloaded this morning which is uh, Monday morning and uh, left the well I think like around 7. Got back here to the truck stop and just stayed and, and just, you know, waited for the next load. But nothing came. Called them, said, hey, I'm ready for another load. You got an ETA for any uh, loads coming up? That time I said, no, we'll let you know when we do. It's like, all right, cool. So uh, hung out at Denny's, edited some videos, uploaded the video. Uh, I believe I uploaded the... Uh, what video was it? Ah oh, man, it's coming to me. Oh, a paste up video. The uh, paste up for uh, two days of work and then nothing but time off. So, uh, the, hope you guys like that one. Kind of see, okay, if you're an owner operator, uh, what are you expected to be still be responsible for even though you're not working? Well, I hope that kind of gives you an idea of all the... Uh, fixed cost that you're still in charge of when that truck's not moving that's not even including uh your uh your truck payment if you're if, if you're making a truck if you are paying for a truck at the time but did that put that out uh responded to some emails uh also reached out to uh the african mamba because i saw his uh live feed the previous night you know, chimed in here and there, and uh, uh, decided to reach out to him uh, this morning. Even though I knew he was asleep, so that's why I just sent him an email. Say, hey, uh, hit me up if you want to. Here's my number, and uh, he said uh, he responded to my email, so he, he uh, might give me a holler. You know, and uh, maybe later on down the road we can collaborate and uh, you know. Uh, share our experiences and uh, and and, and uh, any possible tips and advice that you know we can help each other out and I'll also you YouTubers as well. You know I'm out here learning as an owner operator and in the frac sand uh, uh, business. So uh, it's you know it's still new to me. I've only been doing this since November of 2017. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I can't say I'm a veteran and I know what I'm doing, but, you know, I'm learning, you know, and uh, <coughs> I'm still getting over, I'm feeling, I'm feeling better, I'm still getting over the, that sickness I, I, I got a couple of days ago, a lot better, man, my back was killing me when I, when I got sick, it's just, my back was just stiff, it hurt to move. It hurt to lay down. I couldn't sleep uh, comfortably. Kept waking up. Anytime I'd move, I'd be in pain. It's just like, man, I, it, it just it was, it was, it was a pain to deal with. But finally, I dealt with that for maybe two and a half days. Now I feel so much better. I just got the, the cough, the uh, occasional sinus and congestion. But other than that, I'm um, feeling so much better. But uh, gonna sh run into Denny's, uh, meet up with another driver that uh, is waiting for, waiting with me at the at this staging, well, staging, well, staging pad. Also uses used as a staging pad for that well that I delivered to. Uh, we're just sitting tight waiting for a load, and I, I uh, actually told him, hey, we might be waiting here a, a day or two, because I called this batch about an hour ago and asked. Uh, hey, you know, 
a job in ETA and when y'all might get some more work. And it said that the well in, uh, I think it's Frierson, Louisiana is down for cool tubing or coil tubing, something like that. I don't know what it is, but can't haul frac sand while they're doing that. And uh, they don't have an ETA of when that's going to be done. They're thinking maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. Uh, we had asked about that well that I delivered to this morning, but we were just helping that uh, that carrier out, which was I think uh, LAH or, or MYA. Um, I named the companies in that video, so I, I can't remember off the top of my head. I think I know one is MYA or Maya. I don't know, but uh, I believe the other one's called LAH. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, yeah, I, they're also thinking that a well might start come Tuesday or Wednesday. So uh, at least I know I'll I'll be able to sleep tonight, get some rest. And uh, we'll just sit and wait. That's pretty much all I can do. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and get something to eat at Denny's. Again, um, I am on the vegan thing going uh, for Lent. So this is, my options are limited. Very, very limited. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and get warm because man, this, uh, this weather's crazy out here. Uh, cold front came in uh, well when I got sick and then it, it got hot again and another cold front came in but uh, we'll see what's going going on in Denny's and uh, get warmed up I'll talk to you guys later peace all right people done having dinner heading back to the truck getting a lot colder Man, these people don't know how to park. They just went ahead and they make their own parking spot. I got five trucks parked right in front of me. And they could have parked it a whole different way, but they didn't. They could have just backed up into there, but I guess they had personal vehicles. I can still get out though. But time to shut it down for the night. Again, they said they ain't gonna be no work tonight. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday.
because I used some tracks from the app that I used and I got hit uh, for copyright. I'm like, I'm getting hit for copyright. It was in the app. I mean, you know, it's the app that you use to edit and create videos. I don't want to get in, into it with YouTube. So that's fine. It's two videos. It's not like I'm monetizing them anyway. So. Oh, man. It's cold. Got the bed ready. Hopefully heat up pretty soon. Oh, dang it. Make sure the front on yeah <sighs> gotta turn on the switch so that way <sighs> the fan in the back is on or the controls in the back are operable I gotta turn it on in the cab first in order for me to use the uh, control panel back here and operate back here that yeah, was like a uh, 38 degrees winds blowing so I'm sure it feels like 32 and it's well, March anyway also uh, the other day I talked to a driver is in West Texas. I don't know if I mentioned this in another video, but anyway, uh, hadn't seen him in a bit. Reached out to him, and uh, he called me back saying, "Hey, I'm um, I'm in, in West Texas." I'm like, okay, cool. How how is it? And like, he had never been. He he started off in East Texas, and that's where I started. And then I went to South Texas, and then eventually. East Texas slowed down to the point where he he came to South Texas, met up again, and then he went on vacation for about a month and uh, hadn't seen him. I figured like, okay, his vacation should be up, so I, I tried to I reached out to him uh, a couple of days ago. I, don't know, I think it was two days ago, and he called me back. Now he's in West Texas. And he's a driver for an owner operator. And uh, his, uh, I guess the owner asked that he take the truck to West Texas once he came back from vacation. And uh, he says, they're busy. I was like, yeah, do as many loads as you can today. And then my, my following question was, uh, how bad are the lease routes? And he says, they're bad. They will beat your truck up. You just gotta take it super slow and not. Uh, but he made it sound it's like, man, even if you're going slow, it's just like, ah, uh, man, it, it, it seemed like there's some crazy potholes out there. But, uh, man, that's it for now, guys. I'm crashing. Y'all take care. Be safe out on the road. And I will see you in the next video. Please leave a like, subscribe to the button if you haven't yet. And I'll take, talk to y'all next time. Thank you.